617 on your Monday morning. And according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, each year in the United States, at least 2 million people get infected with antibiotic resistant bacteria, and at least 23,000 people die as a result. Now, the overuse of antibiotics can lead to antibiotic resistance, which is considered a threat to public health. So, when are antibiotics needed, and when are they not? This morning on Ask a Specialist, we learn more with Dr. Ignatia Tononi, emergency medicine physician at the Queen's Medical Center. And doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Now, this is the time of season everybody catches a cold. Yes. So should we be going to the doctor's office and getting antibiotics? So for the common cold, we do not recommend antibiotics. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections, and colds are actually caused by viruses, so they will not be helpful. We do see a lot of patients coming in for this, uh, this time of the year, um, and a lot of them seem to expect antibiotics mm -hmm. to treat this, um, and they seem kind of frustrated when we're not going to give it to them. It's almost like we're kind of hoarding the good medicines for ourselves, but that's really not the case. You know, when healthcare professionals get um, colds, we don't take antibiotics either. It's, you know, rest, hydration, uh, taking over-the-counter medicines and then symptoms should go away on their own in about seven to ten days though so sometimes that cough can kind of linger for weeks so what's the big deal about taking antibiotics Right, so antibiotics, just like any other medicine, um, they have their own side effects. So you can get diarrhea, GI upset, uh, maybe rashes, allergic reactions, and then and even kind of rare but serious instances could lead to death. So just like with any other medicine, we don't give it to you unless we think it's absolutely necessary. And like you already mentioned before, there's increasing um, uh, bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. And mm -hmm. that's because we've misused and overused antibiotics in the past, um, and we're trying to be good stewards of that and um, only give it out when it's actually necessary. So when is that necessity needed? When do we take antibiotics? Right, so usually it'll be for things like an ammonia, um, urinary tract infections, if you have like strep throat, um, certain ear infections, maybe bad skin infections, things like that. So during this holiday season, how can we protect ourselves from getting sick? Right, so if you cannot avoid all human contact, um, <laughs> try to make sure you're washing your hands frequently. You could try wearing a face mask. Um, actually avoid touching your face with unwashed hands, particularly um, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Um, those are where the mucous membranes are, and that would mm -hmm. be points of entry. Now, if you haven't taken the flu shot yet, you can check with your primary care doctor's office to see if they offer it. And if you don't have a doctor, the Queen's Healthcare Centers provide primary care and a wide range of services with seven locations on Oahu, the Big Island, and Kauai. For more information, just go to www.queens.org backslash healthcare centers. And for more ways that you can avoid the flu virus, just go to our website at kh12.com for more information. Dr. Tononi, thank you very much for joining us and shedding some light on a very important health topic recently that's been coming up. Thank you. All right, coming up next.